today we have uh, my symposium uh, just concluded a okay. little while ago, and our symposium was on the burden of heart failure in patients with end stage kidney disease. Uh, we talked in detail about the pathophysiology of the problem and some of the diagnostic dilemmas in making the diagnosis of heart failure in patients with end stage kidney disease and what some of the therapeutic modalities um, that are available in helping reduce the burden of heart failure. The burden of heart failure is clearly underestimated in the dialysis population and unfortunately there is a perception that there's not a lot we can offer these patients. Dialysis patients in general tend to have worse outcomes, they tend to have premature deaths, they have um, a huge burden of cardiovascular disease and heart failure, but if carefully done and using a multidisciplinary approach, there are targets to treat that can clearly reduce the burden of heart failure. We spent a fair amount of time talking about the benefits of prolonged dialysis, frequent dialysis, and therapies that are based at home, as opposed to the typical three times a week standard dialysis that most clinicians are used to seeing. There are major benefits towards regression of blood ventricular hypertrophy, reduction in heart failure hospitalizations, better quality of life in patients who undergo more intensive dialysis, and I really think that is one of the take home points of our session, which is we clearly underutilize frequent dialysis as one of the treatments for patients with heart failure and in stage kidney disease. In terms of the standard medications that we have so many now, especially in patients with used ejection fraction, when you look at the data in heart failure with kidney disease, and certainly patients on dialysis, the data is not so robust, but there is still scope to optimize these medications, and again, I think it rests upon the ability of a collaborative effort between cardiologists and nephrologists to achieve those goals.